What's up guys? I'm very excited today. I'm going to be opening this uh, Champions Path Elite Trainer box. I've actually had this for quite a while. Um, I think maybe I got two of them about a week or two after the set came out, or after the Elite Trainer box came out at least. And I was debating if I should open or keep them sealed due to, you know, all the crazy obvious hype around it. But seeing as how the set is getting reprinted, I think it looks like these Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes are not going to be so hard to get in the future. I will go ahead and open at least one, see how the pulls are. Uh, admittedly, Champions Path, I haven't opened very much of it, as you might know on my channel. I, uh, it's been hard to get product, and honestly, with only two chase cards in this set, it's not that appealing to me, to be honest, but... You know, Elite Trainer Box. I, I have to open at least one Elite Trainer Box. I use these to store the cards from each set, the non-valuables at least, like the bulk. And I haven't seen this before, so I am going to take my time. If you just care about the pack openings, I'll put a timestamp in the description you can skip to. But uh, let's see, this Obstagoon, uh, Dredna, Alchemy, Gardevoir, no Charizard, huh? Odd choice, but I guess he's on the front, so whatever. All right, let's see what this comes with. Obviously, the standard player's guide book that they all come with. I'm gonna go through this very quickly. You guys can pause if you want to see the pages. But honestly, at this point, I think so many people have done Elite Trainer Box openings that you probably don't care too much. I thought this would be a list of uh, all the cards. Oh, here, here's the list. All right, don't care about most of those. Don't care about almost any, all of those. There's the Charizard we want. Where's the other Charizard we want? Did I skip the other Charizard? There's oh, they're both here. Yep, it's the Charizard set. Nice book, obviously. Uh, let's go into the box contents. Very nice. This box looks super nice. I thought the Rebel Clash and Sword Shield ones look kind of ugly, but like this, it's good. Very nice to store stuff in. Um, out of the way. Packs. What else we got? We got the. Oh, I can't forget the promo. I hope that didn't get damaged in the box. Uh, promo looks good to me. No bends. And I mean, I'm no expert on centering, but I think that's pretty okay. If anything, the top looks a bit too fat compared to the bottom, but what do I know? I'm no expert on centering. All that stuff. Good promo. I'm not going to go great at it or anything, so it's just for me. Oh, look. There's even the design on this plastic, this cardboard filler. All right. Here's everything it comes with. We got this how to play guide. They started introducing that with the Rebel Clash Sword Shield. I think Rebel Clash Onward Elite Trainer Boxes. Typical markers. I think they're the same as usual. Uh, sleeves. Beautiful Charizard sleeves. Obviously, them having Charizard just makes them infinitely better. I would be down for some Typhlosion ones, though, that said, or Cyndaquil or anything. Um, the dividers, basic cardboard, energy. Oh, the dice are pretty nice. This one is uh, black and red, and then the big one has a... Oh, that's cool. That's a nice logo. All right. Ten packs, though. Here's what we care about. Jump ahead to now, if you... Skipped ahead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Let's see, we got, uh, did we get two of each? We got two of each, and we got an extra Dreadnought, extra Obstagoon. Cool. Um, I probably won't, no, I'm not gonna keep it. Maybe I'll keep one open, or one sealed. I do have a sealed pack collection, but Champion's Path right now is too hot for me to just wanna not open, you know? First pack, we got an Obstagoon pack. Let's go. What do we got? That's not open very cleanly. Give me a second. Oh, as for the code cards, you guys, I'm giving... I think for this set, since none of the hits are really a big deal, I'm going to give away one code card for every secret slash rainbow rare. Fire, what was it? Lightning energy. And if I get a Charizard, I'm going to give away all the codes in the video. But apart from that, it's not going to be a one for pack thing. Three uncommons. One, two, three, four, five commons. Got a reverse Sonia and a Hatterene Hollow. All right, Hollow, reverse, uncommon, common. Is that even in, in camera? Here, I'll do it like that. 
Hollow, reverse, uncommon, common. All right, Dreadnought pack, pack number two. Let's go. Oh, yeah, really hope I hit a Charizard, obviously, but I'll give you guys all of the codes if I do, just out of pure celebration. One, two, three, flip. Grass energy. We got, starting with the uncommons, we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five commons. Got a reverse Rotom phone and a Zygarde Hollow. At least that's one I haven't gotten before. That said, I haven't opened that much of the set, so, you know, you know. All right, pack number three. Oh, wait a minute. It's already five something. I'll speed this up a little bit for you guys. Actually, I guess I could probably just open the packs in on front of the camera since they're all white codes. I normally like hiding it, so if it's a white code or green code, it kind of just ruins the suspense. But this set gives all white codes, I believe, since everything's a hollow. One, two, three, four, five. Got a reverse Machamp and a Waylord V. All right. I've always liked Waylord and the Pokemon TCG. He's like a huge... There's this really old deck. I think it was like a... Was it Blastoise Waylord? I guess it's not super old, but old enough. All right, I'm gonna sleeve this up in penny sleeve because it's probably worth like 50 cents, 75 cents. But uh, yeah, he's nice. I'm not gonna use a real sleeve on him. Just put him right in my binder. All right, next pack. This pack, Obstagoon. Last Obstagoon pack, I believe. Forgot, I just said I don't have to do it out of camera. Light codes, every pack. All right, uncommons first. One, two, three. You guys don't care about these, right? Oh, I, I do like this hop alternate art. It's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Got a reverse Kabu and a Galarian Obstagoon. All right, Obstagoon goes here. We got Obstagoon and the Obstagoon pack. Pretty interesting. Where's the Charizard pack at? I'm gonna get a dreadnought from this one. Go right into it. Ooh, this opened really weird. Here, leave it on the screen for you guys. One, two, three, flip. Grass energy again. All right, dreadnought this time. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Got a reverse rock rough. Another Hatterene. They really gotta add more, like, I get that there's going to be a lot of pack filler with like useless hollows, but you got to put different ones. I have so many of this Hatterene, and I, I barely opened this product. Like I've opened, what did I open? I opened one Elite Trainer box. No, no, I opened one uh, Marnie box, and uh, one of each Dubwool and uh, uh, Hatterene box. And I've already gotten so many of that Hatterene hollow. Add more, if anything. Even if it's worthless, it's like a variety of worthless stuff, you know? Malamar, that's a fan favorite of the TCG. Or Infamous, however you, wherever your side is on that. Got a Reverse Great Ball and a Scent Scorch. All right. Three, five, one. Oh, okay, Alchemy. This is uh, one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword Shield, so I hope it does not let me down. I used it in my party for that game. It was... Kind of my main guy, since the start of the day. I probably used it more. Uh, so in Sword Shield, I actually made a party of nine Pokemon, just to kind of combat the over-leveling, make it a bit harder, and it didn't really work. But uh, I gotta say, Alchemy was in my party pretty much the whole time. Oh, this is an interesting item. Hmm. So even though I rotated out, Alchemy was pretty much always in. It's my favorite. And a Lucario V. That's a cool art, actually. I like he's like in front of a city. Maybe that'll be like a sequel to Detective Pikachu movie or something. Featuring Lucario in uh, Rhyme City. I almost said Mute City. That's definitely not right. I think it's Rhyme City. Nice. Alright, three packs left. Come on, Alchemy. Last Alchemy pack. This pack feels a little bubbly. Like there's a bunch of air in it. Which is kind of weird, but I'm I, I'm pretty positive this isn't a resealed product, so I'm not too worried. It's just it feels weird. All right, we got 
One, two, three, flip. I want to give away some code cards. Where's the pulls? Team Yo. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Got a reverse Kakuna. And an, oh. Well, I mean, obviously it's not what I want because it's just a hollow, but I actually haven't seen this one before. So that's pretty cool. Huh. Wow. All right. I wonder if I've gotten all the hollows at this point, because Altaria I definitely didn't get before, but I wonder if she's the last one. Second to last pack. This is the second to last pack, right? Oh my god, this went too fast. Is this eight packs or ten packs? I should have counted. It was ten packs. Yeah. Oh, this is an unfortunate box already. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Got a, ooh, a reverse dark energy. That's nice. And Scrafty. Whatever. I'm going to sleeve that energy. Three, five. Reverse energy. Alright. Nice. I'll count that as a hit. Sure. Okay, last box. Come on. This was a pretty, pretty awful box overall. I gotta say. No uh, rainbows, secrets. Uh, not even full arts, just two regular Vs. But, you know, you only need one pack to make up for the whole box. And maybe this is that pack. Maybe this is that last pack. Come on, one, two, three, flip. Got a water energy. Going with the Absol. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, another reverse energy. That's pretty cool. And a Gardevoir. Okay. So I actually have one of these already, and it's not the Gardevoir V Max, just the regular Gardevoir V, but it's a full art, so I guess it's something. It's, it looks nice. And I got another Reverse Energy, so, you know, like, honestly, with this set, every single box or whatever you buy that doesn't have a Charizard is going to be a bad box. But as far as, quote, bad boxes go, this last pack kind of made up for it. Like, I think before this, this last pack, this was considered, like, a really bad box. But now it's, like, eh, average, maybe a little below average. Because this is Gardevoir. I mean, I didn't, I don't know prices or anything, but I looked it up a week ago, and I think it was, like, $3, $2.50 or something. So it's, it's really not worth money, but it's a one full art, two Vs, and two reverse energies out of ten packs. So... Below average, but not like absolutely atrocious like it was before that last pack. All right. So, a bit unfortunate, but let's go for the pulls. In terms of hollows, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hollows. Wonder if that's the whole set or not. Seven right here. We got two Vs. We got Lucario and Waylord. And we got a Gardevoir V full art. Not secret, not rainbow, so no codes today. But uh, at least I got this promo. I mean, everyone gets a promo, but it's nice. And I mean, honestly, the main reason I wanted to open one is because I have these piles of Champion's Path cards just on my desk right now. And I really wanted a box of Storm in, so I'd open at least one Elite Trainer box. I wonder, <laughs> I bet you if I open the other one. Uh, now I'm tempted to open the other one since I didn't get a Charizard in this. Like, I know it's a fallacy, but it makes me think maybe there's a Charizard in the other one. All right, well, uh, keep your eyes peeled. I might be uploading that in the future, or I have other things to open too, other Champions Path products and stuff coming in. A lot of Pokemon. I got some Jirachi V boxes I could probably open. Uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, take care.